production of the J.R. Eldridge Show is made possible with financial support from Arnold, Batson, Turner & Turner, Attorneys at Law, Blake Bell of Edward Jones Investments, the accounting firm of Turner, Rogers, Manning & Plyler, PLLC, Southern Bank Corp, Mary and Martha's Florist and Gifts, Jostens, Doctors Rob and Gary Rucker, Taylor King, Personal Injury Lawyers, Twin Rivers Health and Rehabilitation, Welch Funeral Home, Roger Wingfield of State Farm Insurance, and Southwest Sporting Goods. This is the J.R. Eldridge Show with the coach of the Arkansas State Champion Football Badgers. Joining Coach Eldridge today is your host, Caleb Byrne. Welcome back to another week of the J.R. Eldridge Show. And Coach, it's a huge week because for the second year in a row, the Arkadelphia Badgers are state champions. Yeah, we're just so thankful. I mean, uh, praise the Lord. It, it has been a great ride. Uh, just kind of a, a testament to our, uh, our coaching staff, our football team, uh, just being able to, uh, to finish off um, this season on this show, um, the 15th week of the season uh, after a great victory uh, against the same team who last beat us. Uh, so proud of our coaching staff, so proud of our players and the way uh, that they have just uh, shown some some real character, uh, some real faith, and uh, just the ability to bounce back and have a great season from our start. Uh, so really, really excited to be on the show with you again. And, um, you know, just looking forward to seeing these highlights and being able to talk about uh, about the coaching staff and the young men who uh, who made it happen. All right, Coach, let's jump straight into the highlights this week, and then we'll talk a bit about the game after – the highlights are over. Um, opening up the game, Coach, just terrible weather conditions. No other way to put it. Really were, and our players were not. Uh, they really embraced the conditions. In pregame, they were out there with their shirts off just like they normally are. So really proud of the way they embraced the conditions. Um, opening drive here, the Badgers take the football, get a three and out. But the first defensive play here, uh, Robinson fumbles the ball. Arkadelphia recovers, and that was a – you know, a motif of the game, Robinson had eight fumbles. Eight fumbles. Uh, defense, really, I just felt like they instilled, in, in, you know, fear and intimidation into the opponent offense. Just did a great job of being violent from the start. Um, you know, really proud of our defense and the way they played and our defensive coaching staff. Yeah, and then uh, after that first three and out, the Badgers were able to run the football quite a bit here. Zion Hatley had a great game at running back. Great way to end it up, uh, you know, uh, or really to start it off with our, with our first drive, being able to dominate with the run game. We had two 100-yard rushers ended up with uh, 286 yards total rushing offense. And that really, um, that was the most, I think one of the most rushing yard games that we've had, uh, but over 286, I think, yards. Of, uh, of rushing. So really proud of our offensive line, the way they've grown up and the way they dominated the, uh, the front seven of uh, Robinson. Yeah, that's a really good front seven from Robinson. Um, you know, one of the key guys there, Zach Williams, had Arkansas head coach Chad Morris in his home yesterday for an in-home visit. So he's you know, a really good guy, but you really took him out of the game. And it seemed like in, in the film that it was with a game plan. You um, ran lots of read, read, uh, read options on him and really took him out of the game in that way. Yeah, I felt like, uh, felt like we did. I mean, he, he really, um, you know, wasn't a factor, I don't think, very much. And then, you know, right there, right, right here, you see our defense just dominating, uh, fitting perfectly on their power play and their counter play. Uh, just great job by our defensive front, uh, doing a great job. And then we were able to take away their RPO with our, with our uh, secondary. Just great job. Um, yeah, Keandre Dawson had a really great start to the game. A couple of huge tackles early. Backed up here um, against uh, your own end zone, and Zion Hatley gets you out with a nice run. Yeah, and that was one of the only plays that Zach Williams actually impressed me on throughout the entire game. But, uh, but Zion, uh, great run by him. And then you saw Kyron Harrison. Kyron Harrison just playing relentlessly, uh, blocking for Zion right there earlier. 
Uh, just really proud of the way that uh, that our backs played, and then Alec Rubel uh, being able to block from that dog position, and, and Wallace coming in at the fullback position as well. Um, and our offensive line, you know, I've, I've already mentioned them once. They did a great job blocking up front. Offensive line did a great job. Defensive line did a great job. You see it right there. I think all four defensive linemen in on that sack. Yeah, we we ended up last two games. I mean, what a what a testimony for our defensive line. Just uh, last two games, they've had 17 sacks. I think we had six versus Robinson, had 11 versus Shiloh. Uh, just outstanding performances there. Um, and then, aside from the sacks, more tackles for loss from the defensive line. Here, Robinson sends a blitz, and Cannon Turner still able to get through. Nice job picking up the blitz. Yeah, and really, this is a, another great job by Coach Moreland, uh, being at play design, formation design. Uh, he saw that they, you know, versus a four-man surface, they were only putting two men over there. Uh, we were able to gain a lot of yards in this drive uh, because of that formation and the way he used it. So, really good job by Coach Moreland. Then off, you know, all of our offensive players just being able to execute on those runs. Here, the first, I believe that's the first pass attempt of the game for Turner, uh, just behind Rubel, and he's not going to have another one for a while, but. Um, passing game you didn't really need to rely on it in the, in the rain it was hard hard to get going but you, you didn't need it yeah the one the really the one real shot that we took uh really um uh, really paid off for us you know you saw gabe gabe goodman right there flip the field thought we were going to be able to get that ball and possibly put it in the end zone uh right there we weren't able to do it but uh but again great job by the defense here yeah defense um putting in an extra performance all night long robinson came in the game averaging 38 points a game. Um, they, it had been since 2014, the last time they scored less than 20 points in a game. The last time they were shut out was in 2013, and those were completely different Robinson teams, teams that went five and five. Uh, this game, Badgers shut them out, no points. Yeah, just unbelievable um, how, how much uh, our, our football team in general, our defense, uh, just improved throughout the season. We're able to to really come up with an outstanding performance in the last game of the season. Defense uh, gets a stop once again there, gives the ball back to the offense. Uh, here's a pass play to Zion Hatley. Um, some good downhill running, and that's really where he excelled in this game. And over the course of his Arkadelphia career, you can really see the progression in Zion Hatley. Um, you know, he's had speed the whole time, but really knowing how to use that speed and getting downhill. Yeah, great job. I mean, he was he was over 100 yards rushing um, on the night in the state championship game. Uh, just did a great job running the football, did a great job blocking. And then uh, he also, you see him right there making a TFL on kickoff coverage. Just outstanding performance by Zion there. Um, Robinson comes out in the second half and they've changed their uniforms. What's going through your head, your team's head, when you come out and see him in the black uniforms? Well, I just... You know, um, I just felt like our guys won the, the battle of toughness. I mean, that, in, in my mind, you know, um, we were more concerned about making sure that, that we made the correct adjustments to whatever Robinson was doing offensively, defensively, and on special teams. Um, and, you know, uh, and I felt like we came out in the second half and were, were really prepared to play uh, in all three phases, um, you know, so. I felt like we, we definitely won the toughness battle in this game. Yeah, all the if you look on the screen, all, a lot of the, I would say most of the Robinson players are wearing long sleeve shirts, and most of the Arkadelphia players are just not wearing any undershirt, no warm clothing at all, just their uniforms. Yeah, and I, I mean, you see Kyron Harrison right there uh, making a huge play behind the line of scrimmage. Um, no, no sleeves on. Yeah, I really felt like, I mean, Cole, Cole Turner just, uh, and Josh Wallace, I mean, playing some of the best football that we've played all year. Um, that's one of the things that we've talked about all season long, is playing our best football toward the end of the season uh, and just felt like we continued to get better. Um, you know, here's something that we didn't want to happen, uh, fumble on the exchange right there. Um, and, um, but we were able to, to overcome that, even though we gave up some, uh, some field position to Robinson. Yeah, so uh, first half comes out for the first de uh, defensive drop for Arkadelphia in the first half. Robinson fumbles, and then uh, the Badgers go on to score first possession of the second half for the Badgers. The Badgers fumble, and then Robinson comes out in this formation. And I know the Badgers have seen this formation before, and this is kind of where Robinson's beat Arkadelphia the last two seasons is in this 
Wildcat power run formation and they move the ball to start off and they get some good yardage getting eventually into the red zone, but Arkadelphia comes up strong. Yeah, I just felt like our defense, e even though we, we, get, we were giving up some yards uh, against this, uh, this formation and this scheme that Robinson was, was putting out there, I felt like we were able to establish violence early and we just kept doing it over and over and over again. Uh, huge open field tackle. We talked all week about being able to to finish the tackle uh, on number 16. Um, just unbelievable uh, job our defense, being able to keep those fundamentals uh, getting better throughout the entire season. I mean, you see the same fit right there. They're trying to run the same play. Our defense is fitting correctly. We're making the tackles and then, um, and then we make Robinson make a mistake there. Yeah, the, uh, Kyron Harris, you saw him with a great open field tackle just a moment ago. And then uh, pass coverage there again, he just had an amazing game. Yeah, we knew we, we, or we felt like they were going to have to take a shot right there. Uh, so we were able to, to, to make sure we had that uh, covered up. Great job by Kai. I mean, he, he really, you know, um, they never had a chance on that play. So really good job by, uh, by our defense. Uh, fumble on the read option here. Badgers recover the fumble um, and still manage to get downfield. Make up for it. Yeah, I just felt like uh, throughout the game, you know, even when something bad would happen, our, our, uh, our mentality was, okay, let's just move on to the next play, make up for it. Uh, we do this. Uh, we do this here, and this is really a great job um, by, by Cannon, even pre-snap, and knowing what – what Robinson was going to try to do. We had a pass play called. Uh, Cannon was able to see the open space to the outside there, um, away from the trips, and, and just made a great decision to run um, and ended that uh, drive with a 70 yard touchdown run. Um, one guy to mention on that play, I mean, Cannon did a great job getting upfield, but Javante Brown, he's not a guy that catches a lot of balls, but he's a guy that is one of the best down field blockers I've seen in high school. Yeah, he is, uh, he's done an excellent job for us throughout the whole time that he's played football for Arkadelphia. Uh, just a uh, great job, great relentless effort, um, making sure that he's, uh, uh, he's blocking for his teammate. Great job by Javante. Um, Badgers get the ball back here, um, not able to pick up a first down, a fourth down conversion attempt there. So Robinson comes back now. They're down 14 points. They're still going at it in this Wildcat power run formation. They fumble the football. Kyron Harrison once again forced fumble, and then he falls on it. Yeah, you know, and really our defense, one of the indicators of a great defense, a fast defense, one that flies to the football is – Force fumbles and fumble recoveries. Cole had one earlier, and then Kyron gets one there. Uh, just great job by our defense. KJ Terry right there on the nice catch, and then he just doesn't stop fighting, um, continuing until the whistle's blown, until he gets in the end zone. Yeah, it was great, great run after catch. Great call by Coach Moreland, catching him off guard. They think we're going to run. We end up uh, trying to hit that shot. Uh, it's great job, uh, great throw and catch, great throw by Cannon, then great catch by uh, KJ. Uh, Robbins has a team that really wanted to pass the ball coming into the game. Uh, the win kind of took that, took that part of the game away from them for, for a large part. But when they did throw the ball, Arkadelphia did a good job making the tackle right after the catch. Yeah, I felt really good about uh, our defensive game plan and, and how we were set up even to defend the pass. We knew they were going to throw the football. Um, and, you know, um, really, I just felt like even, even if it was a dry field, we were in such great coverage. Our defensive line was doing such a great job getting pressure uh, that we would have been able to stop them regardless. Wet field, dry field, no, no matter what. Kyron, we mentioned him on defense here on offense, running down the sideline, gets a great block from Zon Hatley to get him in the end zone. Yeah, Kyron's just a, you know, he's one of the best all around football players on our, our football team. Uh, just does a great job. I mean, he's, su he's such an unselfish player to blocks blocks every time he's called upon to do it and then his numbers called uh, to run the football um, and does a great job he's been doing that stuff all year for us uh, gets in the end zone um, great job by Kyron another forced fumble from the Badger defensive line 
Um, and Ricky Rogers had a great game. He was named the Burlesworth Award winner as the best lineman on the Badger team and just had an amazing game out there. Yeah, Ricky, uh, you know, he's, he's just had a great season, great job, um, had, has just continued to get better and better throughout the season, had a great game in the state championship game, and uh, just really excited about the way he, he uh, played Saturday night. Amazing catch right there from the Robinson receiver. Uh, I want to mention that. He made a catch over on or excuse me, over Tatami's back. And not often you see a guy make a catch in a jump ball situation against Tatami. Really nice job by him there. But the Badger defense is still um, fighting hard for this shutout here. Up 28 0. Um, Sumler almost gets interception there. Um, caught by the offensive lineman um, and brought down. But Arkelfi's defense is still fighting for this shutout. Yeah, I really felt like, uh, you know, Robinson tried to throw every, everything that they had in their offensive uh, firepower at us. I thought uh, our players were so well prepared, uh, you know, they were just unable to, uh, to do anything, and our defense uh, comes away with the shutout. Great job by our defense, great job by our offense, great job by special teams. Yeah, everyone uh, did a great job. 28 to nothing, the final score. We're going to leave the, the camera on this uh, celebration here coming off the game. Coach, you took a Gatorade bath after the game. How did that feel? Felt awesome. Uh, you know, I, Carlos Haney, uh, he got me last year um, in, at the end of the game. And then uh, before the game, he asked me if I brought a change of clothes. Um, and I didn't really understand why he was asking me that um, until about five, uh, five to ten seconds later um, that he wanted to give, give me another, uh, another dose of water. Um, felt really good. I mean, I, I just uh, I can't say enough about, uh, you know, when you're, when you're 15, 16, 17, 18 years old, it is a really hard thing to be able to keep your composure uh, and uh, believe in yourself, your coaches, and your teammates uh, in the midst of um, losing five games on the front end um, and to be able to come back to work every day despite being in that situation after winning 14 out of 15 games the previous season. Um, it just says something about the character of our football team and the character of our players and really the character of our coaching staff to be able to, uh, to pull that off. Um, you know, and it says something about, I feel like, the, the faith of our team, the belief level of our team um, in the midst of those situations. And even, you know, as we go on those, that winning streak, um, you know, we start with Fountain Lake, uh, eliminate a little bit of doubt. And then as we move forward, we just continue to eliminate doubt um, and really proud of our football team. And coach, you think about the complete turnaround this season saw at the beginning, uh, that last loss against Robinson, you lost by 28 points, giving up 42 points to the Senators, losing 42-14 in that game, and then 10 games later winning by 28 points. That just kind of shows the, the complete turnaround this season. It really does. You know, we, we started, or we talked about it um, throughout the week. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a, a redemption story on the football field. Uh, you know, you're talking about the last game to lose and then you get to play them. The opportunity presents itself at the end of the year to be able to play them again. The other thing is, you know, there's really no, um, there's no, there's no way you could say um, anything about Arkadelphia's road to the championship game being easy. Um, and it was a tough road, but we were able to handle that. I felt like our players handled it very well, our coaching staff did, and really our community did. I mean, I felt like at every number one seeds uh, place, at Warren, at Stuttgart, at Shiloh, and then at the state championship game, uh, we had uh, as many or more fans than everybody, uh, you know, than, than every one of those teams uh, that we faced. So, you know, when you look back on it, uh, beating uh, four number one seeds to win the state championship um, is just something that, that hopefully our players will be able to look back at. Um, odds are stacked against them in their life in the future. Uh, they can know 
that they've been there before and they can they can rise again. So really thankful that we had this opportunity, really thankful for our players. Um, I remember at the beginning of the season on this show, you told me, I think it was after the loss to Robinson, you said, man, Caleb, I really hope we can stop talking about these mistakes, stop talking about what we could have done to win and, and start talking about what we did do to win. Um, you know, there's so many things at that point. There are, you know, fumbles and turnovers and uh, missed tackles on defense and missed blocks on offense. And all those things really came together as, as the year went on and, and, and ended up in this complete project at the end of the year. Yeah, I think, uh, I think you're right, you know, and we were able to continually do that every week as we move forward. Uh, you know, I just felt like, again, that says something about our coaches and our players and how they were willing to go back to work um, to correct the mistakes, to correct the, the things that, uh, uh, that we were doing wrong. But then, uh, you know, the other thing is I really believe that not only coming back to work, but coming back to work with a passion. You know, um, and I, I think that's one of the things that has helped us, that helped us throughout the playoffs was I feel like none of the teams that we faced had been hit the way that our players hit them. Uh, we, we really played with, uh, with, uh, with violence um, and, you know, the violence didn't necessarily set us apart because as you move forward in the playoffs, you know, and that's one of the things that we talked about, the, the teams are more violent, but if we were able to be violent over and over and over and over again, uh, then that would end up paying off uh, in the end of the game. So. Um, you know, taking the soul of their team away through violence uh, and being able to do it throughout the game um, really paid off. And that's one of the things that does not show up in the stats. Um, it, uh, but it does on the film when, we, when you watch. Um, you know, you have some of our opponent's players kind of limping off the field, having bad body demeanor. Um, and that's one of the things that I felt like uh, our players did a great job uh, of as we continue to get better throughout the season. And coach, one of those guys that played violently all year long was Josh Wallace. Um, really one of the leaders of the senior class that has done so much for Arkadelphia from their sophomore season going, um, I believe it was you know that five and five season, their sophomore year to coming in um, and winning two state championships. Um, those senior guys really uh, have led this team well. Yeah, they really have, uh, you know, and Josh, Josh, played some of his best football toward the end of the season. You know, he, uh, uh, he was able to improve every week and just, just had an outstanding run in the playoffs. And, and really, you know, all, really we've got eight captains and all eight of those captains uh, were able to play their best football toward the end. Uh, and then I felt like our team really, uh, those captains did a great job leading us. Um, and then our team was able to kind of follow that lead and um, we were able to do what we had talked about doing, and that's play our best football toward the end. Yeah, Coach, um, aside from those seniors, the, the whole team was had a lot of underclassmen as well. I believe there's 14 starters coming back next year. Mm -hmm. A couple of those guys we talked about, Kyron Harrison had a, had a great game. Cannon Turner was the state championship game MVP for his second year in a row. He's got three years as a starting quarterback under his belt. There's a lot of young guys in this team that played well. Yeah, they really are. You know, uh, I just can't say enough about uh, about even our, our underclassmen. I mean, uh, especially that the the junior class. Just uh, it's a it's a really big class, and uh, you know, some of the guys that you mentioned. I mean, Kyron Harrison, just outstanding season. Um, you know, on offense, on defense, on special teams. Uh, Cannon Turner, outstanding season on offense, on defense, uh, just doing a great job even, even in, punt, in his punting game. Uh, the one punt that he did have in the state championship was, was not great, but, uh, but other than that, I mean, all year he has been uh, pinning our opponents deep uh, when, uh, when we had to quit kick. So uh, just, um, you know, really excited about, uh, about Badger football. I'm excited about the way that that this 2018 uh, team was able to finish, um, you know, and, and there, there is no better way to finish, you know, uh, and our players, um, our players realize that. Um, I think they, they had it down deep in themselves to play for 15 weeks and they were able to do that. So 
just, just a great job, great team effort by our coaching staff and our football players. Uh, so excited. Um, Coach, you, you think about what the progress has been made in not only this year's team, but in the Badger football program as a whole. You think um, before last year, the last state championship had been uh, 1987, and then a um, long period of time where Badger football just wasn't very good. Um, you came in, I believe, 2011, you came in as head coach. In 2012, the progression started happening up to this point. So you know, almost, Coach, you built a monster here in Arkadelphia. Well, we hope to hope to continue that. You know, uh, 2012, we won our first conference championship. 13, we do it again. Knocked off in the quarters. 14, knocked off in the quarters. 15, go to the semis. 16, knocked off in the first round um, by the eventual state runner-up. Um, 17, won a state championship. 18, won a state championship. You know, I'm just thankful that that we've got guys, uh, coaches that have really bought in and and really um, you know I don't sold it to our players I don't think that's the right verbiage but I think just being able to uh, to establish and maintain a culture uh, is something that uh, that is not an easy thing uh, our coaches have done a great job of that uh, and then our players uh, being willing to you know, one of the things that I felt like really paid off was our off season. Uh, in February, we had five mornings that we got up at, at 6 a.m. at the field house um, um, on Wednesdays throughout a five week period in February. And uh, we were originally calling it VBR uh, Sunrise. Well, it rained on us four out of five of those, those weeks. So we were out there working in the rain, 6 a.m. Uh, with our football team, you know, so that that's a culture, um, and I think those those five workouts really paid off uh, for our state championship game. You know, just just that little bit extra um, that we were able to to do in the off season, you know, as you do it over time, makes a big difference. And I think our players did a great job of of just buying into that and um, and really. Um, applying it to to what we do on the football field. Well, Coach, um, all the hard work paid off. It was an exciting season, an exciting state championship game, and it all ended up um, going well in the end. Um, Badgers won the state championship game 28 to nothing over Joe T. Robinson, second consecutive state championship, and they'll be back next year looking to cause a little bit more havoc in Class 4A. Um, this is the last episode of the J.R. Eldridge Show. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again next year. The J.R. Eldridge Show is sponsored by Blake Bell of Edward Jones Investments, Welch Funeral Home, Southwest Sporting Goods, Arnold, Batson, Turner and Turner, Attorneys at Law, Jostin, Doctors Rob and Gary Rucker, Southern Bancor, Taylor King, personal injury lawyer. Mary and Martha's, florist and gifts. Twin Rivers, health and rehabilitation. Turner, Rogers, Manning and Plyler, PLLC. And Roger Wingfield of State Farm Insurance. Join us again next week for more Badger football action with Caleb Bird and head coach J.R. Eldridge.